So in today's video, I'm going to be going through containers, not these, but the ones in the back of the basement, to look for Chima sets. What will we find? So I'm moving these pee boxes, and I discovered this. Lego instructions. Hmm. I guess I missed a bunch of them. All right, let's see if these are duplicates or... Oh. Okay. Character that's got to be duplicate. Yeah, these are duplicate. Exxon Station. Bionicle comic books. Legal idea book. Snap. Wait, that's not a duplicate. Um, wow. Some of the... Yeah, those are duplicates there. So it's a mixture of duplicates and not duplicates. I don't know. I don't know if some of these go to my personal collection. <laughs> oh no, I don't think they do. I got two of those sticker books. There. Oh look, Galador. Mania Magazine. Brick Kicks. Oh, there's a poster. I hope it's not wrinkled up too much. It's from the UCS, UC, or the gunship, not the UCS gunship, but the gunship. These look like ones we built. Oh yeah. Yeah, these are, these are my personal copies of things. There's the Statue of Liberty instruction. Fire Brigade, Creator, Cafe Corner. Oh yeah. These are mine, all mine. Oh no, these are mine. Yeah, I don't think there shouldn't be duplicates unless I've kept duplicates of a, something. Yeah, that's all my modulars. Book a bull hit. Uh oh, don't bend it. It's already bent. Another Exxon station. So I had a duplicate of that one. The 6375. So these are sets we've built. Oh wait, except for that. I don't think I built that one. I think I bought an extra copy of those instructions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, some of these are actually too tall to... F Wait a minute. And I just pulled out two of these Chima sets. And I got another set of the instructions here. Does that mean I opened three of the boxes? Uh, yeah, this is going to take a lot to go through and organize all this to figure out what I need to keep and what I'm not going to keep. What it, oh, there's the temple of doom. Alright, so what do we got here? Looks like more sets that we built. We got the Back to the Future thing. Oh, there's my all right, I've missing some of my brick journals. Maybe they're all in here. There's a brick culture magazine, a bricks magazine. But yeah, there's some of my. These are my missing brick journals. Ooh, there's the uh, dinosaur poster. I need to. Those are the instructions and the posters for the dino sets. I need to put frame one of these. They're getting pretty ready here. Uh, that's a torn up instruction manual right there. More instructions. Oh, that's not Lego. Let's see, there's another poster. Thomas. Model Railroader Magazine. Chris Pratt. Oh, there's more posters. Lego Movie Posters. There's Will Ferrell. Yeah. And then more of the brick journals that I need to get in the proper place. So, yeah, I gotta sort. Got a lot of instruction short, sorting uh, to do. So I'm going through these boxes and looking for things like, oh, that's a used one. I'm, get, I'm getting all the, actually, I don't need the used ones either. <laughs> I'm getting all these Chima sets out of here. Um, and I found these. I got duplicates of these. This is pretty valuable now. It's got the, um, the forest woman there. This set is one that was recalled by Lego. I wonder if this is the recalled version. 
or the re-released one. I don't know. Ooh. So, I have two of these. Let me go get the other one and put it right here. So with these, it's the, I think it's these parts right here. They're the linear actuators. They had a problem with them and they had to redesign the inside. They say you can't really tell looking at them as far as there's no visible difference. There might be a, a code printed on them that might be slightly different. There's no 100% guarantee, so hmm. I don't know what I got here. <laughs> I'm working my way through these boxes. I'm up to this row. I have to start at the top and then work my way down, so I'm kind of going halfway backwards. Yeah. I thought I got rid of all these. Oh my, this, this is a different box. Looks like there's a bunch of Chima in this one. Wonderful. Oh boy. Oh. Oh no. Lots of Chima. Wait a minute. I need to see what I can either do. I? Zero for three. Oh, there's a Chima. So this breeze actually has a pretty good part out there. I don't think that's the one that was parts for the um, bat pod. I don't think it's this one. I have like four of those. I don't have to worry about these later. Got five of them. Yep, more Chima. Oh look, Lego games. I think I got a Chima game, but I don't know if it's in this box or not. I think I'm gonna keep the Chima game. Wait a minute, why do I got so many? I don't, one, two, three. This is Creator. All right, I'm keeping the Creator game. Uh, two seal champions, and then this is the one we actually used. Hmm. What's the part out value on this? So the part out value is about $38, which is mostly 2 by 4 bricks in a variety of standard colors, which is actually pretty good. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad, part out value, and I can use these containers. I think I'm gonna part these out. So I was going, going through this box, pulled that one out, about to close it up, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I missed this big one. Right here, Croc Swamp Hideout. I think that is all the ones in this one, but then I saw this pretty cool set. It's got Say Say and Shock T. That is sealed. That is not, but I'm taking it out. And there's more. Chima. Well, a little bit more. Just got this one more column of boxes to go through for today's anyway. Oh, I've been looking for this. My Lego Loco box doesn't have the, the game in it anymore. I mean, the uh, that set in it anymore, but it's my original box, I do believe. Purchased here. Is it probably KB Toys or something? I've been looking for this one. No, I've already, I've already done a video on it as well as this one. But I, I, I should have been multitasking as I was doing this. I should have been separating my vintage, my Star Wars. I missed an opportunity. 
Oh well, I'll do it the next time. So I didn't find anything in all those boxes. <clears throat> and I still got all these, but I'm not going to do those today. Just some of the things I pulled out. Sealed Final Duel, Sealed Minitalia, the Sealed TTX Intermodal, Sealed Caboose, and then some of Vintage Stuff, my Lego Loco box. I've got a lot of other things I could have pulled out. <laughs> and then some stuff to part out. The Champions, Minecraft, and those minifigure packs. So let's see what the damage is. See if I can walk back here without falling over. <laughs> it's the Chima collection. Uh, this is just what we pulled out of the pee boxes. Again, I got to go through the other containers. I think this is the majority of it, uh, but who knows with some of these other boxes. I mean, there's boxes up there. Uh, and then uh, there's uh, all the boxes back there so i mean i got a lot of more boxes to go through but yeah this is chima look how much space it takes up whoa as i fall a lot of the sets are smaller though so even though i knew i had a lot of sets there's some of these smaller sets and then these so i don't really have a lot of the big chima sets or the box sets did they make a lot of box sets how many chima sets are there wait maybe i should complete my chima collection and try no i'm not going to do that <laughs> i'm going to get <laughs> I don't want any of them. <laughs> oh, and I'm not saying, and, and, and if you're a Chima fan, I'm not saying that Chima's a bad thing. I'll let somebody else say that for me. It's, I'm not interested in it, so I'm going to, yeah, I just, I'm going to part with all these, and it'll free up all this space. I don't know how many of these parts are useful. All of these little speed ores, they're not terribly boring. Uh, I think this is the starter pack that they sent for free with Lego purchases. I think I got like 10 of them, 10, 13 of them, something like that. But yeah, that's the beginning of the Chima Purge. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'll be back in another video. Who knows, I might be wearing a plain t-shirt like this. This is the boring, <laughs> uninteresting bricks are. No, this is not. I don't think this is any. This is thinning out the collection so I can make room for the things that I really want and then sort out some of these things that I have that I really like. Like finding things I've been looking for, like the Lego Loco. I'm going to get these vintage sets. I got a lot of them over there. I'm going to eventually get all the vintage up there organized uh, where I can make sure that I have all the sets that I'm looking for. Sometimes I think I have a set up here <laughs> and then I find that there's nothing up here. Not just talking about the hair, talking about the brain. But anyway, I'm going to go. Oh, and I want to thank Howard Mintz, who asked me a question about a find of his. And he was trying to figure out what it was. I helped him identify it. And he sent me a little uh, thank you. So I really appreciate that, Howard. And I think I'm... <laughs> I know I can't answer all the emails and questions that people get. But I, I, I find it fun trying to figure out looking at a random lot you know what set or sets were in this lot or could have been so i like doing stuff like that so anyway i'm gonna go i'll see you uh, tomorrow falcon stink wait did i say i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> i don't know no guarantees with me uh, subscribe oh i did that two videos in a row i'm gonna i'm gonna have to get fired from my job see you